when I was a kid in high school, I restored a Model A Ford and took it all apart and put it back together and it ran. And when it was all together and I dr started driving it, I realized that there was a bucket of parts in the bottom of the trunk that were from the car and, and it was running without them and it just did fine. So I didn't really have to have all the parts. And I suppose in a way uh, that may gave me the confidence to make my own machinery. The nature of my sculpture is, is that they're compositions, they're all about balance, and there is this sort of image on one side that's balanced against another, and it has to be equal in weight as well as equal in terms of its subject. The sound of the clickety-clackety of the, of the wooden arms and gears started to come out and when I heard that I knew I wanted that to be part of it but it wasn't something I intended on you know it was just some of the beauty of the material. I like wood it's like uh, well, obviously I enjoy working with it because it's so spontaneous it's so simple to work with but it also comes from a tree that's a living thing so you get you've got this material that has a living identity or had one Wood speaks to you about maybe what it wants to be, I don't know. And, you know, I think maybe that sound is so, has something to do with it. Cat's Cradle is, to me, is a perfect example of what I do and what we're talking about, which is that's the discovery of the new world, right? That's what inspired me or wanted me to do this. And I think that when I, I start out to make a work of art, I'm making that work of art the whole from the very beginning. And I don't know where it's going. I don't know what I'm going to find or if it's going to be successful or not. And that, if you think about all the early explorers, that's just all they were doing. They didn't know where they were going. They didn't know what the conclusion was going to be. They thought they did. But when they got there, most of the time they were someplace other than where they started out looking for. I think of my carvings as being somewhat matter of fact, and I think the beauty is the response to the forms and the, and the nature of wood. I mean, I love the wood, and I love the way it looks. It has this beautiful, warm color. It's sort of like flesh. And I suppose when people talk to me about my art, it, it isn't really, it's not any grand kind of uh, surrealist artwork. It's, it's my own kind of uh, a way of approaching a lot of different art ideas. They're all in there, uh, but, uh, you know, I, I do put a sense of whimsy into it, I guess, because wood is this sort of folksy material. Beauty, I'm not sure I understand what that is, you know? Really, I suppose I have a strategy about the way I put things together that might be beautiful. You know, if it makes sense, then maybe that's what you're looking at.